Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is one week officially until Christmas. Although when this video is live, Christmas is tomorrow. Happy Christmas, guys. I hope you all have the best day. And if you're watching this vlog, thanks for supporting me this year. I feel like this year has been incredible and honestly loved YouTube so much. It's been literally my favorite platform. So thanks guys. But anyways, because we are so close to Christmas and when you watch this it is literally the next day, this is gonna be a calorie free video. I was kind of stuck about what to do this week because I didn't really want to bang on about fitness and health and calories and stuff because it's obviously Christmas and I want you guys to enjoy yourself and I want you to remember that it's okay to have fun and it's okay to have days where you eat more or where you drink more or when you enjoy yourself at this time of the year. Christmas is such a cool time for family and friends so just make sure you remember that. But today we're just going to hang out, chill. I've got some home updates. I want to do a little bit of shopping. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to cook some nice food. So I thought we could just spend the day together. We've actually had quite a big update in our house and I'm honestly in love. Like if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know what I'm gonna say. But we basically had our floor all redone and it was something that I really wanted to do when we viewed this house because the floor was one thing where I was like, mm, it was just so gray and dark and cold. And I don't know, I just found it really hard to like pair things with it as well. Like furniture didn't really go. I just thought it was a really odd choice. So anyways, I have had the floor redone. We actually got it done with a company called Floor Street. Probably send them on Instagram because they literally went viral for a few things. And I can see why, because it's honestly incredible. Incredible. And we didn't even have to rip up our old floor, which was the best thing because I just couldn't deal with the mess. Like, no. So they literally laid it on top. It's called like a floating floor, but it's honestly really secure. You wouldn't know. And um, yeah, I'm so happy with it. And this is the floor. I mean, ignore the washing in the back, but I feel like it's honestly changed this room so much, like so much. I mean, as you can see, we don't have a dining table yet, which is not great because Christmas is next week and we are hosting. Um, it's meant to be arriving any day soon. So that's why the chairs are lined up. I love it. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know. I mean, my house is honestly a tip right now because it's literally building site. Obsessed. And we've also started to paint the doors. These were like an oaky color and um, we started to paint them. And I, again, just absolutely love it. But we went for, this color is called railings. It's a farrel and ball paint, but we got it mixed up in BQ to save some money, of course. Like a dark gray blue, I guess you could say. But we didn't want to go full black because the windows in this house outside aren't black. So we wanted to kind of match it. And I feel like it's done quite a good job, but it needs a couple more coats, I think, really. So yeah, that's two big updates, the doors and the floor. And then we're actually having a carpet runner fitted this Saturday. <laughs> I feel like we're getting so much work done before Christmas and wait for it. We're also having our wardrobes done. And if you can hear banging at the moment, that is what is being done. And I'm so excited to reveal it to you guys, but I think that's probably gonna be after Christmas now, but I can't wait to have a walk-in wardrobe. Like I have been living out of bags and when your job is part revolved around clothes, because obviously I work with brands and stuff to advertise clothes and stuff like it's honestly been a nightmare so yeah i'm really excited to have some wardrobes <laughs> but um anyways guys let's make some breakfast because i'm absolutely starving it is bang on 10 o'clock and this girl needs to eat because my bulk is just not bulking right now <laughs> i don't know i don't know what to I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do about it. I'm just really struggling. I'm just not in the right mindset. And I don't know. Like some days I'm really on it. And other days I just, I'm just not there. Like I've just got so much going on. And I know that's just a really bad excuse. But in January, when I did my previous bulk, I was living basically by myself in my flat, which I was living in with my sister, but she was never there. And um, I just had so much time on my hands. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> And now I just don't and uh, yeah, it's hard. And it's not that I'm struggling with the actual bulk and the workouts, the workouts are going really well and I'm progressing in my workouts. So I am making progress, but it's just having the time to eat. And I know that's a really like bad excuse, but I just don't have time to eat. And it's going to the shop, buying all the food, making it all and having the time to actually like physically eat. And especially because I'm now living in the countryside, I thought I would be moving more. I do not step here. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if anybody else finds that because they live in like a rural place, but you have to drive everywhere and my steps are very low. I've gone from hitting like 10K plus a day to now, like last week there was one day where I hit 1700 steps, 1700 steps. Like I looked at my watch and I was like, that is awful. Like you're really bad. So this week I've actually made a bit of a promise to myself to actually get out. And yesterday we went on a nice long walk and do you know what? It actually made me feel so much better. Like my digestion was better. My mood was better. My productivity was better. So I feel like I just need a bit of a kick to be like, you need to get back into a routine. And obviously January is very soon. So that's going to be the month. Um, but anyways, let's make some breakfast. So seeing as it's so close to Christmas guys, I thought I'd have a bit of a festive breakfast and I'm gonna have a brie and bacon sandwich because why not? I'm gonna make it slightly health and fitness though <laughs> um, with some medallions, but you know what? I actually prefer bacon medallions over streaky bacon. I don't know, streaky bacon actually makes people a bit sick because it's so fatty. I mean, it obviously has its place, like sausages wrapped in bacon is the best thing and you have to use streaky bacon for that. But in a sandwich, not so much of a fan, it's just not meaty enough. So anyway, we're gonna use up what I've got in the fridge and we're gonna make a brie, bacon and cranberry sandwich. I also forgot to say, we put my TV up. This was actually in my flat on my wall, but we've put that up and it's just made everything so much nicer. So now I can play my fireplace Netflix program, which Kieran laughs at, but guys, it makes it so homely and aesthetic and I really miss having a fireplace. So <laughs> let's cook my sandwich with a really cute fireplace in the back. I'm also still just as obsessed with this bread as I was. This is just incredible. Best bread ever. Oh my goodness me. Sorry, but have you seen a better festive sandwich? Because I literally haven't. Oh, that screams Christmas. Guys, I'm gonna go and see Kieran because I'm gonna go into his office. He's gonna be like, what the hell are you eating? How much do you bet? <laughs> I'm trying to work. Shut your eyes. And try a bit. Ready? No, try a bit, ready? No, shut your eyes! Well, I know what it is. Shut, no, shut your eyes. What are you going to give me? Shut your eyes! I'm scared you're going to do something different. Shut your eyes. Are you fine? I'm shut scared. Your eyes. I'm scared. I can't do that. I don't trust you. Shut your eyes! Babe! Oh, no, you just took all my bacon. <laughs> yeah, what about it? What's in it? Mustard. English mustard. Like, really strong English mustard. Why do you put mustard in tomato ketchup? That's weird. Mustard? You're weird. What's in it? Cheese. And what? Bacon. What kind of cheese? Strong. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just strong. No. Brie. Is it? It's not yeah, brie. Yeah, it is brie. What, that bit there? Yeah, is this something you would eat for breakfast? Yeah, 100%. Oh, I thought you'd be like, what the hell are you eating? I had a ham, I had a ham bagel. Ham cheese bagel yesterday same morning. Mm -hmm. What I don't get is don't come in here and let me try some of yours. Why don't you make me one that's mine? Is that cranberry in there? Yeah. I generally just thought it was bacon, cheese, and, and tomato ketchup. <laughs> no. So you basically made a brie and bacon baguette, but not a baguette. No, don't feed in that. A little bit. Oh my goodness. We've just had a really big delivery. We've been waiting on these for our living room. And I'm really excited because I feel like it's just gonna bring the living room together. And wait, I'll just show you guys because I'm excited. What are these? What are these? Stools? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ah! I got my foot! That looks nice. Okay, so here are our new stools that we popped into our living room. We just wanted something that people could sit on when they come around, because obviously we've only got the sofa here, and then we've got, this is kind of like, not a blocked off area, but there's gonna be like a nice coffee table there. We're gonna like board up the radiator. 
because obviously that's not cute. And then this little mirror bit is obviously where we shoot our content, although it's quite messy at the moment. But um, yeah, what do we think? I feel like it kind of breaks up the room and I did want to get like a lighter color, but honestly, we don't need any more buccal in this room because, or buccal, as I say, because these chairs are blue clay and then so is the sofa and they're already two different types, which wasn't on purpose. So I didn't want to get a third type. I think it would just look ridiculous. So yeah, we went with this moss green. I think it looks quite nice. The only really annoying thing, and I feel like I've honestly had problems with every single piece of furniture that I've ordered. Like something hasn't been right. And one of these stalls has arrived and it's got a cut in it. <laughs> Great. So yeah, I've just sent over some images of it. So hopefully they're just going to replace it because... I don't know, literally only me. Kieran was like, you're not gonna believe this. It's just like the hassle of it as well, because obviously you're the one that has to go and send it back and I just can't be bothered. Like, do these companies not check? Because that is quite a big cut there. But anyways, I do like them apart from that. Do you like them? Yeah, they're sick. You were gonna get buccal, there's too much buccal in there already. You know? I know, uh... I have actually not got off my desk, guys. It is two o'clock. <laughs> This is what I mean. I've not moved, I've done 2,200 steps. Like I feel bloated. Um, but I am gonna go to the gym. I'm making sure that I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm just waiting for Kieran to get back. However, I haven't had lunch and this is a mistake that I keep making. Like I'm not having lunch and then I have to have lunch sort of slightly later. And I don't wanna have like too much of a bigger lunch before I go to the gym because otherwise I feel sick and sluggish. So I'm actually just gonna have, I know this sounds a bit crazy, but I'm actually just gonna have protein porridge now because I know I can work out on that and I know I won't feel sick. So I'm gonna make some oats, which probably sounds a bit bizarre for lunch, but breakfast at any time of the day and this is real life and I wanna go to the gym. So let's make some oats and then I'm gonna head to the gym. I'm actually gonna train, I think like, a full upper body session with some cardio on the end because I just feel like I really want to move. You know, I'm gonna get wanna get a bit sweaty. That's how I feel. Okay, so we've got our cooked oats with water, and then I'm just gonna add one scoop of women's best vanilla whey, which I've recently stocked up on, and I got the big tub this time because I go through this stuff like no tomorrow. Finally, for extra carbs, I'm gonna add some banana, which is cut up really bad, but you know. And then the best part, we've got Biscoff. And I'm just gonna drizzle over some honey because why not? We need the calories. There we go, calories unknown, but pre-workout meal. Do you guys remember I bought these napkins for Christmas day? Well, I sent Kieran this video this morning that was on Instagram that you could turn a napkin into a bow. Like, look at this. How cool is that? I feel like I'm gonna give it a go and see how it looks. Babe, do you think you'll be able to do it? This is our little napkin holder. Do you think you'll be able to turn this into a bow? Let's give it a go, come here. Okay, so first of all, they fold it down. See, that bit's easy. Oh, then how do they get that through there? Oh my god, I can't. Why does mine look so bad? Oh, I don't think we can do it because our reindeer sits the other way. Guys, what do we think? I have actually done it, but the reindeer doesn't sit well, so that's obviously not going to be an option for us. Is it all it? Oh, is it all falling out? Yeah, but the reindeer oh. doesn't sit properly. Careful, sweetheart, it's in your bow. The reindeer doesn't sit properly. Um. Oh, could these be in the middle? Yeah, we can't do it. Oh, because ours is the wrong way? Yeah. Is there a different way we can do it? No. Well, I guess you could just do it. Just got changed into my gym fit of the day. This is actually all Gymshark. You can use code Ellie to save 10%. But how cute is this top? It's giving gym, although not motivated at the moment, but we're gonna go and get it done. Do you know what's not giving at the moment? The weather. It's rained, I swear, for like the last week. I just can't deal. I feel like that doesn't help with motivation, guys, but we've got this. I can't decide what to do in the gym. I'm like, do I just do some cardio and get moving? Because that's what I feel like. Or do I train? Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's go to the gym. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you, 
You and me in the cold Thought it'd never be true Wherever I go I got you Oh, I have stopped running There is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care of anything else Do you know what? Despite not being motivated for that I feel so much better And that is why I go to the gym Because I know I'm going to feel so much better I did actually do like 25 minutes on the treadmill Just to warm up Just to get moving Because I felt like I needed to move And then did a bit of a shoulders, chest and tricep session Which I haven't done in a while So yeah, it was pretty good I'm glad I've got that done now Because... Otherwise I would have just felt like so unproductive for the rest of the day and I just really didn't want that to happen. But anyways, I'm actually gonna go to TK Maxx now because I really wanna get us a side table and I just can't find one and I always go in there just to see if they've got anything and I'm literally obsessed with anything home at the moment. So let's just go and check out TK Maxx and then I'm gonna go home. Just picked this up in boots. Kinda like this table. I feel like that could look quite nice. And it's only 60 pounds. Okay, I actually just had a pretty successful shop. So I went into three shops, went into Boots, got this new moisturizer that I've been seeing everybody using. It's by Aveeno and I saw Melissa's wardrobe used it. So I need to have it. So I'm gonna give you a review after I've used it. And then I actually went into B&M and stocked up on the mattress that we use in the house. I literally love these. I just think they're so cute. They never have them in stock. So I've got a couple. And then I also got some ribbon to wrap my parcels in because I bought ribbon the other day and it was only like two meters on it and each present used a whole roll of ribbon. Not great, um, but these have 15, so I'm hoping that this will last me a little bit longer. These are actually from Hobbycraft and then I also picked up this from Hobbycraft because I thought that was really cute to go on the table for Christmas or even like our console table over there actually. And then I went into B&M. This was on sale. It was literally like one pound, so I thought, why not? But guys, how cute is that? Again, you can go on like our console table. I know people aren't buying Christmas decorations now because obviously it's nearly here, but why not when they're on sale? And then lastly, I'm actually having a gingerbread decorating party on Saturday with the girls. So I bought some sweets for us to decorate with. And then I also bought us a whisk here because we don't have any and I wanted a silicone whisk. And then finally, it went into TK Maxx. I bought this for the bathroom. It was only 15 pounds, which I thought was really good. It's like solid marble. And it's just nice to kind of put stuff on the bathroom. But I'm thinking this is when we've renovated our bathroom because that will just go so nicely. Aw, so yeah, I think that's quite cute. My little winter village. We've got a light up house, candles. And the little reindeer. And then finally, the table that I purchased, although I need to take the tag off and clean it. I think it looks quite nice here actually. I think it suits. I mean, the lamp needs to go. Let's put like some ornaments and books on it. And then we're gonna have like a tall lamp that sort of comes over here. And that will kind of finish this area off. Okay, so the guy who's been doing our wardrobes has just left and he says that mine's basically finished. It just needs like a couple more hours on it. I'm so excited. There is no floor, by the way, or no carpet, should I say. So the room is definitely not done, but I can, like to see it. Oh my god. I mean it's a little bit like a building site. Oh my god. Guys. Oh my goodness. I actually can't. Oh my god. Honestly look oh, how insane. Oh my god. This looks so good. I am literally obsessed. Oh my god. Does it look insane? You can't you said you can't do the foot things yet. So you got me to use it, by the way. I can't use it to the end of the week. I know, you oh. thought, you thought she had hers done because she goes, oh, I can you use mine on Wednesday? And now he's basically said he's got to use, he's got to, still got to do work in here, so it will get all dusty. So you can't use it. Mm, I wanted to film it. So I'm, I'm glad you got yours on first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm obsessed. I can't wait to see the There's picture. a lot of space in here though. What's going in here? Dead bodies? Dead bodies? <laughs> That's going to be hanging space. I don't think it is. This is hanging space. Oh, this shit. Is... Does it go like that? Yeah. What, you got a round one? Yeah. Now, I want a round one though. This is sports bras, leggings, shorts, something. Kiwi, shoes. Kiwi socks in there. Jewelry. Can I use my drawers? I've got the drawers where you can see everything. That's the worst thing you can do. Bags. Because you're going to have to make it all look pretty neat yeah, in there. That's going to be fine. Bags. Ornaments. 
Just chuck your bag in there, mate. We don't care. Just scratch it all up and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is your Christmas present from me, wasn't it? My Christmas present from me to me. I can't stop eating these. Do not buy these. They are incredible. Parmesan and garlic twists from Sainsbury's. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we're gonna make dinner. Because it's Christmas tomorrow when you watch this, we're making Christmas burgers, guys. I thought today we could just be really festive and I'm excited. I feel like this is probably not all gonna fit in the burger, so I'm wondering whether we can actually, no, I'm just gonna do it. If it doesn't fit, I'm just gonna have it on the side. These ingredients that you're gonna need. So I'm using these brioche burger buns because brioche is my fave. We've got some more brie. I know I've already had that today, but oh well. We've got some cranberry stuffing mix. I feel like that's gonna go in it. Onion, spinach, low fat beef mince, which I'm gonna mix together with some burger seasoning. I need to get that actually. Burger seasoning, I love this one. It's actually really good and handy to have in your cupboard. But then we've got some low fat pork sausages and some streaky bacon. I'm just gonna wrap one in some bacon per burger. Good to these look. Okay, have you ever seen a better burger? Oh my god, it's gonna fall apart. How good does that look? Yum. How are we eating this then? <laughs> oh, I need a knife really, don't we? No, I'm gonna squash it. Ooh. Oh, this looks so good. Stuffing in there as well. Yummy. Ready? Mmm. I really well. Yeah. No. How good is that? Mm. How would you rate it? What would you rate it? 8.4. Oh, pretty good for you. You've gone mad with everything in there, haven't you? Mm. Everything. <gasps> Stuffing, cranberry, cheese. Mm. Oh, uh, Beef and pork. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but oh. I'm so full. I've got we're to try so and get this. I was going to say we're so I've hungry. still got to get this burger in. You can do it. It's almost as good as your first one, was it? Look at that. Kieran remade one of the burgers. I basically made a McDonald's burger. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to have a shower and wash my hair because I put in rosemary oil this morning and it needs a wash. Did you put it in your hair? Last night. So, yeah, I need to wash my hair and then we're going to relax. We've actually been watching Reacher on Netflix. Amazon Prime. Oh, Amazon Prime is so good, isn't it? I think I would go as far to say that it's the best series I've watched since. Yeah, but you didn't watch the second series last night. You just went into it. Oh yeah, they get a little bit getting in. But no, I just, you know when you like- he, he literally sits on his phone the whole time. He's like, what's going on? I don't get it. No, I don't do You're that. You're not watching it? You know what, when you like really like the character, like I only want to watch it because of him. He looks the boy, doesn't he? <laughs> and then when have... I was in the gym today, I was thinking I need to do pre uh, arms, yeah, my arms like creatures. <laughs> 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 Anyways, guys, if you haven't watched it, it's a good watch. It's something to watch in the evenings because we always get really bored and we don't know what to watch, don't we? Yeah, we've watched some serious TV. I've never used to watch TV, did I? Since moving in with you, you flipping out. Yeah, but I just like to relax in the evenings. It's just nice, isn't it? Well, this time of year, isn't it? We watch every Christmas movie in the first week of December. <laughs> now we haven't watched one since. <laughs> <laughs> About Christmas, myself. Anyways. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Merry Christmas for tomorrow. Hope you get everything you asked for. It's up on Christmas Eve. Yeah. And oh, yeah. I'll see you after Christmas. Bye, guys. Peace. Peace.